Michelle Blazer. I'm the head volleyball coach here at St. Cloud State University. And where we're at is we're at Eagle Trace Golf Course in Clearwater, Minnesota. And we are here to do our first annual kickoff fundraiser to begin our season, which starts tomorrow at 8 a.m. We have our players playing as well as community members. We have a total of eight teams that are participating. And uh, for this season, we have uh, eight new people and seven returners. We have a roster of 15. So some are playing, some are helping out, so it's an it's a option to do either one. And what do you expect out of the team this season? You know, we uh, had some great strides last year, so we helped to, hope to build on that. Um, we were picked with the Northern Sun to take eighth in the conference. Our immediate goals would be to be in a top five in the conference and top eight in the region. And this can be achieved um, as long as we stay healthy and we're working hard towards our goals. Waterman, the senior setter for St. Cloud State. Um, we're just out here today to kind of promote the team and get community involved with something fun, you know. Sand volleyball is a blast, so anyone who wants to come and have fun and just kind of promote ourselves at the same time. So. Um, especially this year, we have seven incoming freshmen and eight returners, so it's even more important to meet each other and integrate and learn about each other because we're going to be playing with each other. We only have a week of preseason so doing something like this where we're active but we can still talk and get to know each other is going to be really key once season starts. Okay and uh, talk about your role as a leader trying to get in the, break into the top five. In that. Um, I think we definitely made strides last year um, so this year it's going to be even more important to build on what we did last year. So. Um, as with my other two captains, like one of our goals is to keep pushing the girls that we're playing with, you know. Like we're trying to build something and finishing top five would just be the icing on the cake. It would just make it our hard work pay off. <laughs> I guess we got this one to do us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>